Yeah, so Alex Fernandez, can you tell us a little about uh, your days as a footballer in Africa, East Africa? It's a long story. You can tell me yeah. from how you started. I started from a very uh, a young age. Yeah. You know, kicking a tennis ball around the walls at my dad's. Uh, my dad would live in a railway quarters. And there was a stadium not far from there. And I could hear all the noise of the big games that was going on. I see. And I was wondering, you know, what was going what was happening down there. And anyway, when I left school, I used to play for a Sheffield team called Roving Rovers. Yeah. From there, we had another team called Nairobi Heroes. And I, they said, I, want to, I said, I want to play for them. And he says, no, you're too young, you know. After seeing my talent playing for Rovers, they wanted to grab me I play see. for them. I see. But eventually, I did play for uh, Nairobi Heroes after the Roving Rovers. And the Roving Rovers were all Sheffield boys. Seychelles. From all Seychelles. I see. Seychelles, Mauritian. I see. I was brought up with them, you know. I see. So I joined the heroes. From heroes, they then an upgrade. Then they were watching how they play. Then the Kenyan team saw me and they invited, selected me to play for the Kenyan team. This is early 60s, mid 60s? Yeah, after about 58, 59 50. and all that. From 57 onwards. Yeah. From 57 onwards. And then... After playing a lot of the Kenya teams, yeah. a mixture of Europeans and Africans inside, you know. So to them, I play, they selected me to play for, Nairobi, for the Nairobi team. And I think this is the team that we selected from all territory in Africa, yeah. like Nakuru, Kisumu, Mombasa and all that. So they selected all the players the top player they could get to play, to select for the Kinekosi side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was one of them selected I see. to play for the Kinekosi, oh. you know. They sent me a letter, sent it to the company I was working for. You need a, you need a vacancy, you know, paid, everything is paid and everything, you know. Yeah. So we joined, that's how we had to be coached in Kakameka. You know, there's a training camp. Where's that? In uh, Kisumu. Kisumu. Yes, we trained there for a week before we went at Kampala. I think this is where all the Tanzania team, the Zanzibar team, all meet down there. You know, I see. It's like four big. Yeah, in the international, inter, inter country, inter country, inter, inter, inter whatever. They were not countries then as yet, yeah, but. They were tops, yeah. So we used to play, you know, the late game and we went on and on to the knockout tournament. We happened to meet the host team in Uganda. I see. 1960. And then I'm secure, I play there. I had some very good passes I put to, to my players on the side, Ambrose, you know. Yeah. And he was missing goals. And that gives another pass. He was missing open chances to score. Yeah. Eventually, I think they could see that happening. I think they got one chap there. He went and when I was kicking the ball, he just hammered my ankle. And that was it. I broke my leg. And oh, wow. Off. Yeah. You broke your leg? Yes. <clears throat> I had to come. I couldn't play anyway. So that's where I, you know, the finals. But still, they, I know during those days, we couldn't have the reserves. You know, we have a yeah. we come in, we played with 10 men. Oh, but God. we still took the cup and we still had the cup in our hand. I the see. medal, silver medal we were given. But then there was a big riot, you know, because a lot of Africans from Kisumu. Came. There was a riot? Right. right. <clears throat> really? Yeah, I think a lot, about 17 people got killed. 17 people got so killed because of the match you played in? Yeah, 17. It was horrible. I couldn't even come out from the stadium. The ambulance to take me out. Which uh, year? 1960. 1960. 16, and eventually what I What date? What date? What was that? 1937. To work here from 1937 to 16. <coughs> yeah. What age would that be? No, no. What date was it? I mean, what date? Oh. You remember the date? I can't remember oh, the date. Yeah. I noted in my diary. It's at home. All the days, you know, I can't remember. So your diary was, it's still at home? I don't know where it is. It must be, so it's always in England somewhere. <coughs> and that was it, you know. After that, I still happened to come up. Oh, before that, I used to play again. I was selected to play for Kenya team. Yeah. Against Stan, Sir Stan, late Sir Stanley Matthews. Sir Stanley Matthews, the Blackpool and England team. Okay. I played against him. Yes, I played with then, uh, yes. then it's after 59, before 50, 60. 59, I went to the Mozambique, I played against with Isabio, the Black Panther. Yeah. yeah, who was supposed to be the Pele of, 
of uh, portugal portugal yeah then he went to portugal to um, he came to goa also people is remember him to play to play in goa is during portuguese your... times oh, oh, wrong time. people talk about him <laughs> yeah he, he was great he was a top player man in mozambique mozambique yeah he was in mozambique there a lot of good mozambique players yeah they didn't want to leave their family to come to to portugal i see he was one of them that left i see and then len shackleton another irish international played against him also and he made a team that was it i think you know and then then i came to england 71 so then mrs fernandes would tell of the story <laughs> when she saw the play in 71 yeah you left to uh you put in up at sweet green in erith and i looked in, in the newspaper and i saw advert an advertisement uh saying they're looking for a football player for a certain uh, club oh, wow. the dartford club you found it yes yeah, so uh i showed it to my husband and i said okay i'll get in touch he says no no bother you know he didn't have confidence yeah so i quietly it's a new went, country it's a new yeah, country i went quietly and phoned there was a phone number quietly i phoned the chap and said to me uh, uh, okay we'll have to give him a trial yeah <clears throat> yes to come on saturday to the club and he's going to give him a trial but before saturday came he turned up at our place why and, and talking to alex about all the football and okay. listening to all his stories yeah he was so impressed that he didn't give him any trial he put him straight away in the first team oh wow and that's how he landed in the team and i think the the one league we won the second cup. division league went to first league yeah and we had a knockout <coughs> mcrepton cup the okay. finals but they lost at the dark stadium <coughs> I think very interesting. It was good, you know. Have you been following Goan football? No chance. Not too much. They don't have much, you know. Down there, I know Zico and all that. They come to us. They lost not again down here. True. So I'll follow them a little bit, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for the oh, interesting welcome, story. Yeah. And we got a picture when he won that cup.